Hi, welcome to ERP Next video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to update the stock opening balance in your ERP Next account. Let's check what are the prerequisites for updating the stock opening balance. Items Item for which stock is maintained. Ensure that maintain stock field is checked for it. Warehouse At all the locations in which stock is maintained. Please note that in the stock transactions, only child warehouses will be selectable. Let's quickly add a new warehouse in which opening balance is to be updated. For a new warehouse, account will be added automatically. To update stock opening balance, open new stock reconciliation. Select posting date and time on which stock balance should be updated. You can add items manually or import via Excel file. You can also have items fetched based on the item's default warehouse. Update opening stock and valuation rate for the items. In the Difference Account field, select Temporary Opening Account. Save and submit stock reconciliation. On submission, the stock opening balance will be updated in the respective warehouse. Also, based on the item's total valuation, warehouse account, which is the current asset account will be updated. Let's check how to update opening balance for the serialized and batched items. To set an item as a batch item, check field has batch number. To set an item as a serialized item, check field has serial number. If you want to have item serial numbers auto created, then mention prefix for it. If you want to define serial numbers ID on receipt of an item, then leave this field blank. For the batch item, create a batch ID before updating the opening balance. Enter batch ID. Select batch item. Enter batch expiry date. Save. Opening stock for the serialized and batch item is updated via stock entry. Open new stock entry. Set purpose as material receipt. Set posting date and posting time. Select warehouse in which opening balance is to be updated as a target warehouse. Select an item. Enter opening quantity and valuation rate. For the batch item, select batch ID. Let's select a serialized item. Enter opening quantity and valuation rate. For the serialized item, if prefix is not mentioned in the item master, then you should enter serial numbers manually. Save and submit stock entry. On submission, an opening balance will be updated for the items. Also, serial numbers will be created for serialized item. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, go to erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.